What a new beautiful world, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, it's your boy F.I.L.I. back again with another episode of Styles by Philly. On today's episode, we are going to talk about knitted sweaters. More specifically, essentials knitted sweaters. I'm gonna talk about what essential knitted sweaters are the best ones. We're gonna talk about colorway exclusivity with different department stores, as well as, you know, an overall re review and opinion about all of these different essentials knitted sweaters that have come out in the, in the last few years. And we're gonna put some dope, dope outfits at the end of it all. With that being said, let's get into it. I found my way, mission accomplished. I got it not far from afraid. Can nothing haunt me? Confident now my life is great. Can nothing stop me? Don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stuff for nothing. I found my rock. Hey yo! First of all, I want to thank everybody for subscribing and you know supporting the channel. And if you haven't and you're new to this, please make sure you subscribe and hit that alert button so you know some hot Philly shh, sizzling hot is about to drop. Also, make sure you check out the previous videos as you'll find them very informative with a lot of different things in regards to shoes or perhaps even fits and always talking about some essentials clothing. But let's get into today's topic, which is knitted sweaters. We always want to make sure we layer up, we bundle up and we look mad cozy and still look dope fitted with these nice fits that we want to put together to, you know, show out and impress. As far as I can remember, Fear God Essentials didn't really have anything knitted uh, previous to 2020, even though I could be wrong. I don't recall, to be honest. If I am, please correct me if I'm wrong. But my first experience with knitted sweaters with Essentials was basically 2020. Great year for Essentials. A lot of dope stuff came out. But the knitted sweaters was one of the things that a lot of people hyped over. So talking about this one right here first, boom, is this salt and pepper essentials knitted sweater now this was one of the og knitted sweaters that came out i believe there was two other colorways that first came out with uh, sorry two yeah two other colorways that came out with this which was the cream buttercream as well as a black one or i believe it was like a a black uh salt and pepper one now this is the salt and pepper one which is more on the gray side as you can tell now one thing i do like about this is that the first drop of the og knitted sweaters were 100 percent cotton so this one right here is 100 percent cotton um i found out to be really dope again more organic materials now for a majority of my sweaters i did go my true to size which is a medium and i know a lot of people had a little issue in the beginning when it came to these knitted sweaters a lot of people thought they draped a little too much hence why they wanted to size down i didn't mind it to be honest i love the drape on the sweaters so i kept my original true to size and i'm a huge fan of it in regards to colors and materials i I think these were one of the prime or more like premium knitted sweaters to get when they first dropped. So aside from that, they started releasing more and more knitted sweaters, uh, but I noticed a big difference. When they started manufacturing more knitted sweaters, and now I'm going to show you this one right here, which is a collaboration in regards to an exclusive color that came out, I believe for the fall winter with Essence, is this knitted sweater in the navy. It also released in the rain drum as well. But these knitted sweaters right here, uh, I noticed a difference in regards to materials. They still draped the same, but the materials were a little bit different. It wasn't 100% cotton anymore. It was 60% cotton with 40% polyester. Still fit cozy, still nice and soft. Uh, I was a huge fan of this one as well. I got everything in the Navy when it first released. I do uh, regret not getting the Range Room when I had the chance. And again, it was one of those things where I was just like, do I need another knitted sweater? I know I had a few already in my closet so i didn't know if i needed to pick up another one but huge regret i know i should have got one still a huge fan i like i said uh the only difference between this one and the og drop was the fact that the materials were different nonetheless i still got to the medium it still fit perfectly fine so after all that being said and done you know they released like i said a few colorways i believe there was the moss they released another buttercream um, they released a black one, uh, a, a few, you know, knitted sweaters in the crew style. But from that, they shifted over to, I believe it's 2021 when they started releasing knitted sweaters with hoods on them. Now, this one right here is the Fear God Essentials Summer Spring 2021 Dark Heather Oatmeal. I was a huge fan of this when it first came out in regards to like a... Um, a hooded knit it reminded me of the mainline uh hooded knit sweater that released and now keep in mind that mainline had better materials like wool um so they were a lot softer sturdier um and a lot cozier i would say but this was a really really dope cop 
I was a fan of this. I, I, I could wear this with basically everything. The only thing I noticed that was different is only the hood. Uh, material wise, it was still 60% cotton, 40% polyester. Still cozy. A lot of people still wanted to size down when these came out just for the simple fact that again, it still draped a lot. I still went to my true size medium in this and I was a huge fan of this. You won't see much of a difference when it comes to um, the sizing on these. Uh, very small, you know, nothing nothing that could be, you know, true, true detrimental, true detrimental, true detrimental, true detrimental, oh my fucking goodness. Truly detrimental. Truly detrimental. Truly detrimental. <laughs> nothing that is truly detrimental to your outfit um i don't see a big difference to be honest but this was one of the my, one of my favorite ones that i copped when the hooded ones came out after essentials dropped different colors and exclusive drops with nordstrom and essence whether it was the knitted crew neck or the knitted hoodie they went a different path for the summer spring of 2022 when it came to the knitted style which brings us to this right here this cable knit turtleneck now this cable knit turtleneck is one of the comfiest things i've ever felt when it comes to their knitted even comfier than the cotton believe it or not i don't want to say it's material because i believe this is let me just double check the material portion on this it's 57 percent cotton 33 percent acrylic and 10 percent nylon it is very cozy i went to my to my true to size in this i went to a size medium um i love it for the simple fact that i can layer up and in the fall or the winter it's gonna keep me completely warm i don't have to worry about you know having a very thick coat or jacket on top uh, as this will do the job with whatever I have underneath as well. So this is one of my favorite pieces. I, If you've seen my last video or the video that I did in regards to uh, reviewing this drop right here, you'll notice that I did say I wanted to get something like this for the simple fact that I had a Ralph Lauren cape on it back in the day and I was a huge fan of it. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of it. It got holes and stuff. Uh, but then also I copped a J. Crew crew neck knitted crew neck cable knit actually and it was very similar to this i just didn't get rid of my j crew one just because you know i needed something that was different in my closet and lo and behold essentials dropped something like this so that j crew went out the door and in came into my closet this one right here same drop they released a different type of knit and there was this right here this raw edge knit with the 1977 now they also released polo knits. I never cop one, but this is for the simple reason uh, because of materials. Now, I believe with this raw edge and the knitted polos, they were 88% polyester and 12% nylon. I wasn't a huge fan of the materials. Now, I have a theory in regards to why they might have changed up the materials, and it's mostly, I think, because people complain about the drape of the past OG knits. Uh, these materials are more sturdy. These synthetic materials are more sturdy, so they don't drape as much. I don't know if in regards to like longevity, how long they would last. I'm pretty sure a long time, but I will say this. This is cozy, but it's not as cozy as the previous uh og knits and even the cable knit because it does have cotton in it this is the only piece that i caught with the 1977 or anything that had to do with polyester nylon knit uh like i said i wasn't a huge fan of them whatsoever but uh if i were to compare it to the other cable knits i'm gonna reiterate myself again this was the least cozy the other ones were a lot cozier our last knit which is this one right here this cable knit with the raw edge neckline i was a huge fan of this when i saw it and this is the same material uh, as as the cable knit uh turtleneck so with this one right here is a little bit different all the previous ones you just saw i did get it in a size medium and they fit perfectly fine this raw edge uh neckline cable knit is a little bit different uh in order for it to fit like a medium i had to size down to a size small so it would fit just like the turtle net cable knit um that's the only difference in regards to that overall my favorite and my my opinion in regards to these cable knits is i was a huge fan of i want to say the og knits those were my favorite out of all of them 100 percent cotton so i can see why people would resell those for more or when they're getting rid of them or obviously resellers uh i think those are the top tier premium cable knits for this essential drop my second favorite one would have been the hooded uh 
knit in the dark heather oatmeal i love that knit sweater it's awesome like i said it did remind me of the mainline knit and then my third one is the turtleneck cable knit very soft cozy nice to layer up my favorite colorways out of the knits are number one the buttercream and the salt and pepper og knits those are my two favorite colorways my second one would be that dark heather oatmeal in the hoodie love that one as well as the taupe actually in the hoodie um i don't know where my olive one went i did have one disappeared don't know where that went and like i said for the cable knit a turtleneck i have the wheat love it but i would say i would have wanted the iron i did sleep on that color um i just didn't know if it was gonna look good or not because iron was a new color that dropped uh it did look a little bit different and especially when it comes to these knits or i tend to see that the coloring is never the same as you see when they're advertising them so i skipped out on it but i do regret it some other colorways that i do regret not getting are anything in regards to that nordstrom drop that exclusive Nordstrom drop was really hard to get. Not a lot of people got what they wanted. And I'm talking about not just knits, but t-shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, crewnecks, all of that. No, I did get something in a Nordstrom exclusive drop, which was a large, but it did not fit right. The draping was complete. Like it, it was just too baggy, very baggy on some Balenciaga vibes. The other colorway I regret not getting was the raindrop for the first exclusive uh, Essence uh, drop in 2020. I regret not getting that rain drum. It was sitting there for some time, but when I went and tried to get it, it was completely gone and now it resells for a ridiculous price. Now that I've spoken about that, I'm gonna let, give you guys a little insight in regards to how I rock these uh, knitted and hopefully it can help and inspire you so you know what to wear them for this fall, winter and going forward in the future. So with that being said, let's do this. Esto venimos, dame uso nuestro debido sí. Inmigrante en este país, ver inteligente individuo Dale. No me puedes parar porque dentro de mí está el divino. divino Nosotros llegamos a este país para buscar un camino Me importa un pepino, lo que piensa en mi destino Punto final infinito, yo soy latino Voy a ser el mejor del mundo, eso sabía desde chiquito Mi estilo muy fino, las nenas me quieren, se bajan el hilo No me empuje esto cerca al filo, quieres ahogarme, pero me Río, por eso soy frío. frío. Dale para adelante. Nunca pararé. No es fuerte, mi compadre. No. Es trabajo duro. Uh. Mucha confidencia y con eso no dudarse. Sí. Aprender y ser puro. Dale. Ser honrado, elevarte y esquiva la cárcel. Yeah. Con esto yo les juro que seré muy grande y tengo mucha clase. Dale. No quiero dormir, no quiero dormir. No, no voy a sufrir. La vida querida es hermosa. Yo quiero vivir, no voy a escondir. Lo siento por ti, venimos por todas estas cosas No quiero dormir, no quiero dormir No voy a sufrir, la vida querida es hermosa Yo quiero vivir, no es conmigo Lo siento por ti, venimos por todas estas cosas Esto no es complicado, no. conocí el racismo cuando era pelado Escoge un lado, Escoge. acepta tu nombre que te cambiaron somos gente decente, de donde sacaron que somos muy malos Esto no es permanente, que no te quede en la mente como un tatuado No soy muy fuerte, que sea muy claro, me cuido, soy sano y soy educado Les digo esto, caso se olvidaron, mi flow exclusivo cuesta muy caro Este flow de Oswaldo merece un cuadro, yo soy bien elevado Hijo del chimborazo, serio como un infarto Sigue para adelante, enfocado en la meta que tenía antes Practicando cada día, estudiando cada paso para no equivocarme todo esto es energía meditando cada día para ayudarme y mi madre me decía que dios me bendiga y nunca me rechace no quiero dormir no quiero dormir no no voy a sufrir la vida querida es hermosa yo quiero vivir no es conmigo lo siento por ti venimos por todas estas cosas no quiero dormir no quiero dormir no voy a sufrir, la vida querida es hermosa Yo quiero vivir, no es conmigo Lo siento por ti, venimos por todas estas cosas And 
that wraps it up for this episode of Styles by Philly. As you can see, I put some dope outfits together, mixed and matched different aesthetics. Whenever Fear of God Essentials drops, knits, what more can you say? It's always a home run because you always want something aesthetically pleasing as well as something you can layer up with and feel comfortable with. Let me know in the comment box below how you guys feel. What's your favorite colorways? What's your favorite knit? Because there are different knits that Fear of God Essentials has dropped. Even if it's not Fear of God Essentials, if there's a different type of knit that you like, let us know. I might be able to do a review on them as well. In the description box below, you can see in full detail all the outfits that are put together as well as my music. Thank you everyone for subscribing subscribing to the channel, listening to my music and following me on my streaming platforms. The music is going big and I got a new video on the way real soon. So stay tuned for that. And last but not least, I'd like to give the outfit of the day to my boy, Oliver Lacey. Brother, this outfit right here is really, really dope. That top coat is amazing. You rocked it. Awesome. Dope, dope, dope with the boots, the, you know, just that camel popping out is all you need. Amazing outfit, brother. This is the style of the day. With that being said, peace. I hate you. Also, I want to give outfit of the day to... I don't know who. Because I don't know who the fuck I'm giving it to. It's the cable knit uh, turtleneck. Uh, fucking Go on a different route in regards to the knitted... After that, we started seeing again similar colors. We, you know, you got different things like the toe. As you can see, I put some dope outfits there, you know, some nice layering outfits to, you know, take your note, take your note. For the um, knitted hooded cable knit. The tr truly did. Nothing that is, hold on, nothing that is truly detrimental. Holy fuck, detrimental, detrimental. That's it, right? Oh, do I need to start again? That was such a good take. Ah. Uh.